Good morning, children. It's story time. I know you are very, very excited because I am so excited. So this sums topic is animals and their young. Yes, and today we're going to start off with our mini beasts. I wonder if you remember what mini beasts are. Some of you, I'm sure, will probably think they're food. Is it food? Well, I don't know. Could it be a pet? I don't know. Let's find out. So today the story I'm going to read to you is entitled The Bad Tempered Ladybird. I'll just say that again. The Bad Tempered Ladybird. What does a bad temper mean? Hmm, let's see. Well, a bad temper has a lot to do with how you feel. Okay? So usually it's a bad feeling. You're angry, you're not happy, and then you have those grumpies. Remember those grumpies we talked to you about? Sometimes when you wake up and you're not in the mood to come to school or you don't feel like having your breakfast, those grumpies. So the ladybird had those grumpies. Let's find out if it's good to have grumpies. So we'll start off. Are you ready? Shh. It was night and some fireflies danced around the moon. At five o'clock in the morning, the sun came up. A friendly ladybird flew in from the left. I saw a leaf with many aphids on it and decided to have them for breakfast. My goodness. But just then, a bad-tempered ladybird flew in from the right. It too saw the aphids and wanted them for breakfast. Let's find out what happens next. Good morning, said the friendly ladybird. Go away, shouted the bad-tempered ladybird. I want those aphids. We can't share them, suggested the friendly ladybird. No, they are mine, screamed the bad-tempered ladybird. Or do you fight, or do you want to fight me for them? Uh-oh, I wonder what happened next. If you insist, answered the friendly ladybird sweetly. It looked the other ladybird straight in the eye. The bad-tempered ladybird stepped back. It looked less sure of itself. Oh, you're not big enough for me to fight, it said. Then why don't you pick on somebody bigger? I'll do that, scratched the bad-tempered ladybird. I'll show you. It puffed itself up and flew away. I wonder what happens next. This is getting exciting. At six o'clock, it met a wasp. Hey you, said the bad-tempered ladybird. Want to fight? If you insist, said the wasp, showing its stinger. We're going to find out what a stinger is in a bit. Oh, you're not big enough, said the bad-tempered ladybug. And it flew off. At seven o'clock, it saw a stag beetle. Hey you, said the bad-tempered ladybird. Want to fight? If you insist, said the stag beetle, opening its jaws. Ah, oh, you're not big enough, said the bad-tempered ladybird, and it flew off. At eight o'clock, it came across a praying mantis. Hey you, said the bad-tempered ladybird. Want to fight? If you insist, said the praying mantis, reaching out for its long front legs. Oh, you're not big enough, said the bad-tempered ladybug, and it flew off. My goodness. Okay. At nine o'clock, it almost flew into a sparrow. Hey, you, said the bad-tempered ladybug. Want to fight? If you insist, said the sparrow, opening its sharp beak. Sharp beak. Oh, you're not big enough, said the bad-tempered ladybird, and it flew off. At 10 o'clock, it saw a lobster. Hey, you, said the bad-tempered ladybird. Want to fight? If you insist, said the lobster, stretching its claws. Ah, you're not big enough, said the bad-tempered ladybird, and it flew off. At 
at 11 o'clock, he bumped into a skunk. Uh oh Hey, you, said the bad-tempered ladybug. Want to fight? If you insist, said the skunk, starting to lift its tail. Mm, and you know what's going to happen if a skunk lifts its tail, right? A stinker, stinker do. Oh, you're not big enough, said the bad-tempered ladybug. And it flew off. It ran into a rhinosaurus. Hey, you, said the bad-tempered ladybug. Want to fight? If you insist, said the rhinosaurus, lowering its horn. Oh, you're not big enough, said the bad-tempered ladybug. And it flew off. At four o'clock, it encountered an elephant. Those are big. Hey, you, said the bad-tempered ladybug. Want to fight? If you insist, said the elephant, raising its trunk and showing its big tusks. Oh, you're not big enough, said the bad-tempered ladybug. And it flew off. At five o'clock, it met a whale. Hey, you, said the bad-tempered ladybug. Want to fight? But the whale, the whale didn't answer at all. You're not big enough anyway, said the bad-tempered ladybug. And it flew off. At 5.15, the bad-tempered ladybug said to one of the whale's flippers, Hey, you, want to fight? But it got no answer, so it flew on. At 5.30, the bad-tempered ladybug said to the whale's fin, Hey, you, want to fight? But it got no answer, so it flew on. At a quarter to six, the bad-tempered ladybug said to the whale's tail, Hey, you, want to fight? And the whale's, and the whale's tail gave the bad ladybug such a slap that must have hurt. That it flew across the sea and across the land. At six o'clock, the bad-tempered ladybug arrived back where it started from. Ah, here you are again, said the friendly ladybug. You must be hungry. There are still some aphids left. You, have, you can have them for dinner. Oh, thank you, said the wet, tired, and hungry ladybug. Want to share them? Soon all the aphids were all gone. I can imagine how hungry he was. Thank you, said the leaf. You are welcome, answered both the ladybugs, and they went to sleep. The fireflies who had been slapping, sorry, the fireflies who had been sleeping all day came out to dance around the moon. And that's the end of our story. There are very many lessons we can learn from this story. I guess you can see how horrible his day was. Just imagine if you woke up grumpy all the whole day. You wouldn't be able to do your work. You wouldn't be able to finish your food. You wouldn't even be able to talk to your friends well. Okay? So one of the things that we learn from this story is it's good to share. It's good to share just like the friendly ladybug shared with the bad tempered ladybug in the end the other thing that we learn is it's good to value our friendships sometimes if we want certain things we don't have to bully our way out to get them we don't always have to get or have what we want okay so our friends are important it's good to be kind to them it's good to be nice to them even our mommies and daddies especially now that you're spending a lot of time with them so we have looked at how many, I wonder if you can tell me how many mini beasts we've looked at. Let's see if we can try and remember. So we looked at the ladybug, we've looked at the aphids, we looked at the beetle. There's some that I have here. Yes, so we looked at the beetle. This is a type of beetle that you can see. This is an ant. All these are mini beasts, okay, that we're going to be learning about throughout the week. We have another ant, 
as you can see let me just hold them properly so you can see them so we have the beetle an ant another busy busy ant you know those are always busy then we have a bzzz. you guessed right the bee and then lastly we have mr mr spider that most of us fear and terrified of them so these are some of the mini beasts we'll be looking at throughout this period thank you for listening to my exciting story i can't wait i can't wait to hear what you've learned please let your mummies and daddies know very excited goodbye